It's January 18th, 2024, and I'm starting this year off over here at Newport Heights Elementary for a very special day. And all I have to say is finally I get a sub job this year. The reason why today is so special is because this first grade teacher was my third grade teacher precisely 20 years ago. Not 19 years ago, not 21 years ago, exactly one score ago at the school and now he teaches first grade but he was my third grade teacher back in the day and it's like I just had to accept this assignment. I wouldn't really ordinarily uh, choose a first grade uh, position like anything under third grade I wouldn't ordinarily choose but you know I just had to do it today and uh, there is actually a student teacher from Vanguard University and um, she knows all the professors that I know at Vanguard University when I did the credential program over there. In fact I'm still over there taking the uh, doing the master's program but it's great she's taking the lead and in, um, instructing the class and then uh, there was a, a time where I had like 20 minutes to do like um, magic tricks back to back to back uh, and again I tell them it's not real magic but like card tricks rope tricks and such and they were completely blown away and couldn't stop talking about it uh, right now they're over in Shark Tank they just had like their third recess I believe they called it the reason I said uh, finally earlier in the video is because like this is like the second week back from winter break and there was hardly any sub jobs available. Well, last Wednesday I was doing assemblies over at uh, Anderson Elementary. If you're interested, I'll link it in the card above about how it went. It went excellent. And then the next day, a week ago today, I had my first ophthalmology exam in 11 years. And then like Friday and this past Tuesday, Wednesday, there's like hardly anything available. Monday was a holiday, MLK day. But the past two Tuesdays, I did go over to Ensign to volunteer as a math tutor. So I am optimistic that going forward, there'll be more sub jobs. The students today are great. The couple of them just couldn't stop talking to me and asking questions and uh, about like my, my tricks and everything. So I was uh, teaching them how to do a couple of tricks. And there's one student who loves to ask me a lot of questions. And uh, there's one question in particular. And he asked, when I was a student here, was everything black and white? Like, what color was the, was the sky back then? I'm like, it's just as blue as it is now. And then I realized he's probably thinking about my grandparents' generation in the 50s when everything was black and white on television. And I'm like, no, that was 40 years before I was born. Although it wasn't really black and white back in the day. That was just how it appeared on television. So I'm getting up there in years, but I'm not that old yet. And this is the first time that I'm subbing since the publication of my second book, Unstoppable. How one person with autism is never giving up on his lifelong dream to become a teacher and worldwide influencer. Um, and so I mention uh, this teacher actually um, in this book and my uh, first book as well. And I'm excited to see how uh, this is doing so far, how this is encouraging a lot of people. Um, I was already on a, a television news station in West Virginia where I was already interviewed for that last Wednesday after coming back from Anderson and then tomorrow morning I have a radio program that I'm speaking in that's based in Canada and after that I have a podcast interview uh, for this book as well. So this is the book that I kept on talking about in all my previous teaching updates. It talks about how I got the passion to teach back at Palerino Elementary and then being teacher for a day at the school twice. So I mentioned Newport Heights Elementary and all the other schools in this district. So. Uh, very excited to see how this is going to encourage a lot of people. So, so far today is good and I can't wait for next time. It's January 25th, 2024 and uh, once again, finally, part two, I'm back here uh, subbing again. Uh, there just wasn't any sub jobs available the last week, uh, but I'm glad to be back subbing. And I'm at T. Winkle Middle School subbing science today. And the first time I'm over here with uh, the publication of my new book that mentions T. Winkle Middle School eight times in it. Great to be back in here again. I actually sat in this science classroom before and when I was walking over here there's a couple of students and they're asking me who am I subbing for. I said this teacher and they got a bit happy because they have this teacher for science. By the looks of it, it looks like there's going to be 7th and 8th graders here today.
Okay, so today was something I survived today. It was uh, packed with a lot of students. Uh, There's a lot of students throughout the day that remembered me from subbing in their feeder schools, such as Ray, Pomona, Adams. During lunch today, I ran into like the administrative intern, I believe, and he was the assistant principal at Adams Elementary last year. And uh, coincidentally, it was 52 weeks ago today, or one year ago tomorrow, where I ran into him and I introduced myself, explained that I'm an author to my first book, Juggling the Issues. He recognized it right away. I was telling him, now I have a second book, and said that he's referred to in one of the chapters as the assistant principal at Adams Elementary. And so truth be told, uh, the students were a bit on the noisy, talkative side uh, all day today. Uh, but, you know, I just had to give the instructions. Some took a longer time for me to give the instructions, but then they were off on their own or doing like partner work and such. So it was basically packets today. Like the seventh graders, it was all about like temperature and the eighth graders was all about uh, vibrometry or vibrations and, and all that. Uh, so I read through the uh, both packets during the prep period, which was second period, so it's very interesting information. Well, nevertheless, I'm glad to get back in the groove of things, subbing more consistently. I know where I'm going to be tomorrow, and I can't wait for next time. It's January 26, 2024, and I'm over here at Ensign, and today's going to be a melodious day today. Because I am inside the band room again, and I'm going to be subbing for band, choir, guitar, and orchestra here today. So once again, going to be a melodious day. Well, today went well, and I knew it was going to be melodious, maybe not harmonious, but it was melodious. There's a lot of different uh, instruments per class, so like one was acoustic, the other was like brass instruments, the others were like strings, like violin and cello, and they were um, really playing very well. But the common denominator, or bass clef if you will, that I heard all day from like first period to eighth period was this. But another song that all the students were playing that I'm probably going to have stuck in my head for a while was Street Smart.
So it was an excellent day today. Once again, I'm glad to be here at Ensign and uh, yep, the first time something here since the publication of my new book, which mentions Ensign over a hundred times because this is the school where I did my student teaching at. Well, whatever you want to do, whoever you want to be in life, autism or not, disability or not, you can do it. You can do whatever you set your heart and mind to do. Never give up as long as it's your passion. If I could do the things that I could do, then so can you plus more. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. It's January 26, 2025 and 24.